Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. My name is Tim, the Toy Town King, and we are back. PU is back again with another suspect test, guys. And it's been uh, a day since Archeops has been on the suspect test ladder. The suspect test for Archeops has finally uh, come, guys. Like, we've been waiting for quite a while. We had to get rid of Mag first, and then, yeah, this thing. Like, Archeops has always been a threat, you know. Ever since even I started playing PU, Archeops has always been top tier one, and it's just been really good this gen in PU. And, like, Obviously, we're going to have to suspect test it because there's a lot of controversy uh, regarding this mon. And, you know, as always with my suspect test videos, I'm going to be going over uh, why Archeops is getting suspect tested. Some points about whether it should be banned or do not ban. And my own opinion, as usual, like I've done with the Mag, with the Persimian suspect, the Harry Armour suspect, uh, like how many months ago, if you guys even were like with me back then. But yeah. Like, again, Archeops is very strong. So, you know, I'm going to be going in-depth into, like, everything today. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more content. But anyways, let's look up the commencement post with Megazard posting uh, the thread, the post about the Archeops suspect test. So, he says, PE Council would like to take a look at Archeops. Archeops has been a major presence in PE since the beginning of the generation. Blah, blah, blah. Major and arguably unhealthy impact on team building, you guys can read. So, you know, Archeops being such a strong one with really good speed tier, you know, it's pretty, like, hot. it checks a lot of mons and it beats a lot of mons. And obviously, you are going to have to build teams around a mon that can easily do that to people. Obviously... There's a lot. There's not a lot of mons that check Archeops in the first place. As you can see, uh, switchings are limited to Reggie Rock and Mudsdale, two uh, defensive Pokemon that don't really take too much from Mudsdale. But Muds, I mean for Archeops, but Mudsdale isn't too reliable because, uh, which put like a lot of mons can check Mudsdale and like stamina boost Archeops. Yeah, can't do any damage, and Mudsdale can use heavy slam to kill it. But you know, it's not the most reliable mon, and Reggie Rock as well. Pretty hard. To, to fit on teams and uh, compared to other ones like Palosand, which is daily departed from PU. But yeah, Reggie Rock's high defense stat makes Archeops quite useless. And uh, yeah, Reggie Rock checks it quite well. And then again, it says passive teams like Stool struggle to switch into Archeops without uh, the ability to pressure it. Like Stool, PU Stool, even if it's not as good as other Stool like OU, still. It's quite stally. You have ones like PQ, Articuno, Ordino, which just take a chunk from Archeops. Like Articuno does want to be taking a potential Stone Edge. And again, that links into the versatility of its move pool. Again, like you can run Taunt, you can run uh, Stone Edge. And yeah, Taunt is quite good to stop certain ones like Clef. And uh, Stone Edge is just your strong stabber as long, uh, along with Acrobatics, which... Is quite spammable as well. Not Stone Edge, but Acrobatics is quite spammable, which makes this thing a huge threat. And the speed tier, we can't forget about the 110 base speed speed tier. Not a lot of offensive mons are, like, you know, good, relevant offensive mons aren't, you know, meeting that speed tier apart from Alone and Raichu. But even then, that thing's usage has declined a lot ever since, like, Spiriting came to tier and is easily pursued track. But as well, you don't want to be running. Uh, unorthodox mons like Zeb Striker, like Floatzel is a really good offensive mon to check Archeops, but you don't like. I don't want to be running Floatzel all the time just to check Archeops offensively because like it's just too much work. And even then, Floatzel has his own checks as well. Uh, and yeah, but also Archeops, like its cons, like the cons are there. Defeatist and weakness to Stealth Rock, obviously. Like Defeatist is what makes this thing easily checkable in some in most cases sometimes because as long as you get it down below 50 percent hp it does half damage and it's not doing as much you know like honestly if archaeops didn't have defeatist they wouldn't be in pu i'm not i'm going to tell you this now it would not be in pu but defeatist is obviously there and there's not much you can do about that but yeah being forced to run roost to keep its longevity up is like Something that people would say, ah, oh, do not ban Archeops because, you know, it's weak to rocks. You can get it below 50 quite easily and then it's forced to roost and you can gain momentum off that. But that isn't the best argument. And again, I'm going into detailed and in-depth arguments about uh, people's opinions into Archeops. But yeah, 
Rec requirement 80% GXC minigun game uh, count of 35, just like the mag suspect test and the previous suspect test we have, like, uh, assuming. But yeah, let's go into all star apologies. Uh, what do you call it? Post about Archeops, and uh, she starts to uh, what do you call it? Compare Archeops and Magmortar, and uh, says that they make people use like more unorthodox and unviable mons to check them. In the case of Magmortar, you had mons like Sligu that just people started using because they're like, oh, Magmortar can't do much damage to Sligu. And uh, again, I wouldn't say Regirock and Defensive Caracosta are unorthodox and unviable Pokemon because they're quite viable in the metagame. But, you know, again, Regirock's hard to fit onto team Defensive Caracosta. Not too often that you'd want to use that mon. But yeah, it's there as a check to Archeops. Again, offensive teams have issues uh, with Archeops due to high powered attacks and really high speed tier. Again, offense can't do anything. The uh, bulky offense still just get freaking chipped quite easily by Archeops. His strength and again, speed tier. Like, yeah, Floator, like I mentioned before, that outspeeds Archeops, but that's all offense really has. And if you want to be running Zeb, like, sure, run Zeb, but it's not the most viable Pokemon. We're talking about the most viable and relevant ways of trying to stop a Mon. And, like, no one ever likes to be forced to use the unviable Mon just to be a really strong Mon. Like, I can't imagine people having fun using Stigu. Like, honestly, why would you want to use an NFV Mon, which basically has no where in P apart from being a mag, former mag check. But, you know, people do what they want to try and beat them on. But, again, she thinks that Archeops should be banned. And, uh, you know, again, Roost and Taunt, two very good moves on Archeops just to, like, annoy people and, like, keep his longevity up and stopping Pokemons that want to set up and whatnot. And, again, she actually quotes what HJAD said on Discord because... I said something about, like, I triggered HDAD to say this, so thank me, guys, for making HDAD say this really, really solid argument. And, uh, yeah, I said something about Aurorus being stronger than Archeops or something, like, I would prefer to have an Aurorus suspect test before Archeops, but again, this is what HDAD said, and I'll read it all out because, well, you guys can read it, but, you know, I don't want to be waiting 45 seconds or so, just being silent. So I'll read it out for you guys. Taking Aurorus into this isn't the best mentality, in my opinion. You have to consider them away from each other. Archeops' limitations isn't as obvious as, let's say, Magmortar, because it has some switch-ins, like Regirock. The key is to see his influence on offensive teams and store teams alike. Offense is morphed by Archeops into this weird conglomeration of Regirock, plus five offensive Pokemon, or risk out lose, flat losing to Chops, and then store has no switch-ins to pressure it, unless you also run Regirock store. That centralization is what made people deem Arch as busted. You either run Regirock slash Defensive Costa on every team. Well, that's a chops, probably. The only thing that holds up are, like, Regirock fat teams. So, again, HJAD says, you know, unless you unless you use Regirock, then Archeops just has a uh, field day. So, you know, hope you guys can understand that Archeops is quite strong. And, you know, you're probably thinking, let's ban the thing because, you know, only Caracosta and Regirock can check it reliably and you know offensive teams can't do much apart from the odd few mons that can actually do something to Archeops and stall again even though it's not the most common play style it gets invalidated quite easily by Archeops because no switch-ins that pressure Archeops whatsoever but anyways let's look at some of the arguments here uh only one to be honest from a clueless homo and uh yeah, not too many people have said their views on the Archeops suspect test, but, you know, let's just read what he says, because I thought this post was pretty decent. Yeah, let me like that, because why not? This suspect test isn't, to me, isn't as nearly as clear-cut as Mag was. Now, Mag and Archeops are similar in what they force people out to run specific mons to check it, like All-Star Apology and HJAD mentioned. Even running weird checks like Sligoo even goes on to say that uh, mag checks were weird, niche trash like Sligu and Hakamaru had no business being viable. Archeops, on the other hand, has checks that aren't too common in the me meta, but very, still very usable, like Regirock and Costa. Again, you'll be hearing those two names as reliable Archeops checks. Again, 
says another differing point between the two is major weakness of the month. Arceus has defeatus, which coupled with a rock's weakness, make it staying healthy extremely important. Basically, if rocks are up and Arceus has taken more than 25% chip, it needs to roost to become useful again. Giving you a free turn, like I said earlier, that, you know, roost in defeatus gives the enemy a momentum because they get a free turn to do whatever the hell they like. But anyways, not to mention priority and its fertility, frail, I said fertility, frailty, and suddenly it becomes manageable. At the same time, Arceus can get around this with good team support and proper play. So it's never that simple. So he's honestly just neutral. Like, you can say ban because, yeah, it does a lot of damage and you're forced to run certain ones to stop it. But again, it's quite easy to manage if you get into defeatist range because you gain momentum all the time. You always gain momentum when it goes for roost like. You know, if it's below 50, it's going to go for Roost. Like, Archeops isn't, like, you can get, your attack will get halved. Like, you wouldn't be doing as much damage. So, which situation would you prefer to be in? One where, you know, you would be at a high health and do more damage. Or one where you do less damage and you're just even more vulnerable to getting killed because you have less HP. But, yeah, again, that's the cons of Archeops that, like, at this point, I believe that the pros and cons are equal. Unlike Mag, which honestly just hit everything hard. And there were no setbacks to that, apart from possibly speed. And that was about it, really. Like, it just nuked things, and that was it. But Archeops has Stealth Rock's weakness, has defeaters to keep it in check. And at the same time, does a lot of damage to offensive teams, stall, and even bulky offensive teams. So again... I understand why this guy says that he'll reserve judgment until the end of the suspect test. And now you guys can kind of see my own views on the suspect test. That I'm kind of neutral with uh, if uh, Arkill should get banned or not. And yeah, I'm going to be playing on the suspect test ladder. And, you know, if I get the wreck somehow, I, I honestly do want to get wrecks this time. I'm not as busy. I've done most of my mock exams, honestly, until real things start and yeah i have a lot of time to play on the suspect test ladder so let's go guys i'll be playing on suspect test ladder even in the tour on saturday i'll be playing and then then if i have the option i decide ban or do not ban because honestly like unless something happens major in like the next two days where i face archaeops and it just beats my team outright then yeah i'll freaking ban the thing i'm not having that but if i see that nothing for me it's too dangerous about Arceops because I know this thing is a threat. But if I see that it can be, it's not as broken as we're making it out to see, man. It's kind of less on the scale of broken as Mag. Then yeah, I'll say do not ban. Uh, we could still have it in the tier because I imagine this meta game to be very different without Arceops. Like Arceops is just that really good offensive mon that you could fit on offensive based teams. Just as fast mon that hits everything hard with acrobatics. So yeah. That's my views on the suspect test, and yeah, this will be the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, like, if you guys want to actually just discuss this with me, like, leave a comment down below, or even hit me up on Discord, like, yeah, I'd like to talk to you guys about the mags, uh, not the mag, the arc of suspect test, like, I really, like, like if you guys, you know, speak to me about this, because I like discussion videos, like, this channel has been a lot of, uh, discussion-based videos, like, I'm pretty sure I've made more discussion-based videos than actual, like, gameplay on Ladder, to be honest. And, I, and to be honest, I would like to change that. But, again, I like speaking to you guys about my own opinions and just informing you guys about things. I, I enjoy recording that. So, might not be as excited as, like, playing, thinking in the heat of the movement battles. But I just like talking uh, and discussing with you guys. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below if you are interested in more content. And subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more content. Rampo P6 episode 2 has been recorded, but due to me being busy this week and last week, I haven't been able to upload it. So on the weekend, expect that to come out. And again, I will be playing on Suspect Test Ladder. So, you know, hopefully I can get the Rex because if, if other people can do it, then I can do it as well. So, you know, that's always, you know, good mentality to keep. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one. Peace.